House of the Dragon season one, episode three. First of his name, second of his name. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should leave it. Maybe you should leave it. <laughs> House of the Dragon, season one, episode three, second of his name. A lot of the times, man, we're not even gonna have an intro. We're just gonna hop in here, say the episode name, keep it rolling, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, like always. You ready? I'm ready. I know you're excited. You've been talking hot D all day. You ready? Oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Man, I'm ready to go. Okay. What's that? Old Valeria mm. or something? A dragon. Is that the first Aegon? Oh, the, a crown. Aegon the Conqueror. Okay, we need to know that. How did you know that? Because he was the first. What, right? Well, he's probably not even the first. It's probably not Aegon. No, he is the first. Not the first Targaryen. But he's the first to conquer Westeros. But this isn't Westeros. This is Old Valyria. Whoa. Somebody just let us know in the damn comments yeah, <laughs> what like, order this is. Because this heck? is going to kill us. And I don't want to look it up because it'll spoil something. It'll be like, shocking season finale when <laughs> so-and-so died. And I'm going to be like... Great. They're crowns of some sort, but... How are you supposed to know who were that? These are all the Targaryen kings in order. I feel like we'll talk a lot less in these intros. Because <laughs> we talked our butts off in the Game of Thrones intros. Mm -hmm. Wait, the wall. I remember the wall. Tyrion peed off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's a peanut butter cup? <laughs> <laughs> Targaryen. I know that one. Oh, look at all the blood pouring into it. Nice observation. It's almost like the veil or something, right? The veil? What's it called? Oh, the moon door? The That's moon what door, it looked yeah. like? Yeah, I did. Is it? Oh, the seahorse. The crab feeder. This is like some AC black flag right here, boys. House Valerian is coming for you! The sea snake will have your boxes! No, 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 please! Ah! Oh. Uh -oh. oh no, so no. them crabs for real eat no. them? Or just pinch them up till they die? Hey! Yo! Is that a long neck dragon? Dang! <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> put that on a put that on a t-shirt. I know, right? Yeah, my <laughs> Save me! Oh <laughs> man. Hey buddy, put him out of his misery. <laughs> they said to the caves! <laughs> oh shoot. I kind of thought that dragon was lame because it had a long neck, but now I think it looks kind of cool. Start okay. He has your hair, your grace. <laughs> he does have. He has your eyes, your grace. <laughs> oh, and you have my nuts. Two years old and already. <laughs> our boy has a kingly presence. He may yet, brother, but this morning he insisted on eating porridge with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> he will grow. We're quite a party assembled in his honor, and surely by the end of this hunt, we shall have more to celebrate. And what is that, pray tell? It is Egan's second name day. His infancy is behind him. It only remains for Viserys to name him heir to the throne. I wouldn't be so At sure. two? He's the king's firstborn son. I don't know that his grace sees it so clearly. Then it lies with you to make him see it, Lord Hand. Yeah, because his daughter's still in line, right? Mm -hmm. I bring urgent news from the Stepstones. The crab feeder has dug in for siege on Bloodstone while his men sabotage our fleet under the cover of dark. Not today, Tyler. <laughs> the matter of the Stepstones is, regrettably, Urgent. It's been three years. It can wait another three days. Three days. Okay, guys. So if you're looking at the map, there's where Dorne is, and then there was like a didn't the history say there was like a landmass or something down there? 
And so now it's just like a bunch of rocks or something, and that's where they're at. And so that's the shipping lane down there. Right. Is that what and it is? And that's what that guy at the beginning, Lord Corliss, he like wants that for some reason. Guys, I know y'all don't believe me, but your boy put Westeros on his screensaver sometimes, and I look <laughs> at it, try to memorize it. It's Come. been a good investment. Eat. Fortify yourselves for the journey. Does he get two pigs because it's his second name day? Is the baggage train ready? Mm. It's presently massing at the river gate. Lord Jason expects us in the Kingswood before midday. Have you seen Rhaenyra? I have not, Your Grace. With the triarchy now sheltering in Bloodstone's caves, the threat of the dragons is blunted. They don't have foot soldiers. Their cell swords have been withdrawing in droves, Your Grace. Even the mercenaries can see that it is a losing effort. Where's Rhaenyra? Cannot be sure at present, Your Grace. The Valarian forces have suffered heavy attrition, Your Grace. The seeds of dissent are sown amongst the rank and file. Damon has driven the men hard. They have begun to question his command. She's pregnant if again. the crown were ever to intervene, Thailand. now is the time. Damon and the sea snake started their war without his grace's leave. Were he to intervene now, after so long, it would make the crown appear weak. Can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might be? Uh, the dragons <laughs> oh, she's at a concert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A private one. Under the dragon's eye. Again. <laughs> Perhaps the princess might like to hear something else. She said she repeat. Not. Play it again. Uh, that's how you gotta do it back then. <laughs> did you see him? <laughs> <laughs> she fled with her ships and her people. Her heart broke. Her costume. For those awesome. She was like dragon egg on her shoulder. So I say <laughs> stop. He's in a pickle. In the beginning. She fled with her ships. Rhaenyra? Her yes, my queen. Your presence is wanted in the outer courtyard. The royal hunt ready to depart. Decided to remain here and read instead. You may go, Samwell. You are to stay by order of the princess. <laughs> the queen commands you to leave the godswood at once. Outranked. Right. Princess. <laughs> Sorry. Your grace. She's about to the pop The king pregnant. wishes for you to join us. The king has much to celebrate. He does not need me. He wants for us all to be together. And perhaps the hunt could be fun. Is it the king's command? Yes, but it... Then at once, your grace. But it needn't be. None of it needs be this way in truth, Rhaenyra. Awkward. I know. How annoying, though, that your old best friend splendid. can demand you what to do. The whole of our family off to celebration and adventure in the King's Wood. Should you be traveling in such condition? The Maesters said that being out in nature would do me well. Well, you would be with your own child sooner than later. And make me a proud grandsire. <laughs> it's not so bad. The days are long, but Aegon came quickly and without fuss. You should ride out with me today. Join in the chase. Rather not. Boys screw like children when they've been slaughtered. I find it discomforting. It's a hunt, Rhaenyra. How would you like to participate? I'm not sure why I must. Because you are my daughter. The princess. And you have duties. As I am ceaselessly reminded. I'm sorry? As I am ceaselessly reminded. You would need to be reminded you ever attended to. No one's here for me. She's just very discontent, discontent with her dad, ain't she? I would be too, though. I know, that's such a weird dynamic, but... The whole time you're sitting there hanging out with your best friend, your dad secretly... Not saying he was thinking about it, but if the opportunity arose... I mean, it, it did. did. <laughs> Aw, look at them clapping. Whoa, you see... The the building back there? Oh, yeah. I'm not really sure why they're celebrating. Maybe they're just happy they're there. I don't know. Or it's, they're happy at someone's birthday. Hail, hail, Edward the Conqueror Bay, second of his name. Oh. His grace on his second name day. Oh, so the people are so happy about him. 
it's his second name day and she's in line for the throne and they're not even celebrating her right but to be honest it seems like she's sort of intentionally like throwing herself in the doghouse though she's not really putting herself out there like she wants to take that role over maybe i'm wrong but i mean that would suck for to be her though everyone's celebrating well, because it's a boy the yeah. baby's a boy and they're just like hey well, yeah 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 i get it even if he's two who cares a two-year-old baby make a better king than a girl. <laughs> Less emotional. <laughs> Less emotional. One of the swan's ships sailed through the stepstones. What will happen to Lady Joanna? She's to be sold to a pillow house in the free cities, if you believe the rumors. I fear the gods did not make me for hunting. Might I sit Aww. with you, my ladies? Oh, no, of course. Please join there. Us. That's Papa. Laris Strong, the youngest son of our Master of Laws, Lord Lionel. My lord husband says that no king has ever been able to tame the Stepstones for long. It's an inhospitable place suited only for savages. Perhaps the princess can give us some insight. Oh, I'm not sure how I could. I've never been to the Stepstones. Your dear uncle is the great mind behind this war, is he not? I wouldn't know. I've not spoken to Damon in years. Since you supplanted him as heir. Damon made his choices, Lady Kira. The princess was more suited to the royal. He's made a mess and the king must put an end to it. Send fleets and men and clear out the triarchy for good. Hug! Hug the crown is not at war. The crown is at war, princess. Though your father refuses to admit it, we've been dragged into it by your uncle in the sea snake. Another pub. Now have you served the one with late Lady Red Wine? Wait and cake. <laughs> yep. I like that by her, though. Tell that old lady to stop gossiping. Yeah, they had all the gossip. Someone needs to go to the triarchy, and the guy's like, can't we just wait three days for this? Bye. <laughs> I want the princess. Is your own second name day as grand as this? I honestly don't recall and neither What's way. his agenda? I <laughs> know. Lord Jason Lannister. Oh, that's it. He's Gather a Lannister. All the lions. I don't think we've been properly introduced. A twin serves in my father's council. Thailand is... Frightfully dull, God's Lavin. The finest honey wine you'll ever taste. Made in Lannisport, of course. Of course. She's just not uh, afraid. King's Wood. It's fine hunting ground. But the best sport is to be found at Castle Rock, near my home. Have you been? Um, once. On tour with my mother when I was young. And honestly, can't recall much of that either. The rock is thrice the height of the high tower in Old Town. Taller still than the wall in the north. It's been said that... If one were to stand in the tower, on a perfect day, one could see clear across the sunset sea. It must be quite something. Mm, I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but I do have the means and resources to build one. Okay. Why would you need a dragon pit? To house dragons, of course. I'd do anything for my queen or lady wife. He's trying to buy her, basically, with all that Lannister gold. Because they'd be paying their debts, and she knows it. Thank you for the wine. <laughs> That's why she didn't finish it. She, had to, <laughs> she didn't want him to pay his debt. Too bad Cersei wasn't there. She did my hell yeah. <laughs> and you're related. Double put. Oh, he put it out. Good try, brother. Is that what I am to you? A prize to proffer about to the great houses. <laughs> He's like caught. <laughs> you're of age, Renera. Jason Lannister is an excellent match. She's arrogant and self serious. Well, I thought you might have that in common. <laughs> Since Dang. you came of age, I've been slowly drowning in a lake of parchment flung from every corner of the room. Marriage proposals all. And I have tried often to discuss it with you, but you've refused me at every turn. That is because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra! Uh, excuse me, Your Grace. Right, that's the drama starters right there. They're gonna say a bunch of stuff about you. You must marry. The Royal Huntsman has sent a report, Your Grace. There's been a sighting of a white heart. The stag is the king of the king's wood, your grace. A regal portent for Prince Aegon's name day. <sighs> so deep down, he's really frustrated, but he's really holding it together. This yeah. image of keeping it all happy. Because he'll snap on her. Yeah, he sure will. I like his character, though, Viserys, though. I, I think he's a good... He's interesting. He's, yes. he's an interesting character. Princess, wait! Dang. But she can't be air running off emotionally like that, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, like, proves people's point a little more. Because we are boys, I, I get it, but 
you know, it's tough. That's what I'm saying, at least the baby can't ride a horse. <laughs> Dang! Dang. <laughs> she regrets getting him now. What happened back then? My father trying to sell me off to Jason Lannister. Was I named heir to the Iron Throne so that I might only further raise the standing of a lord of Castle Rock? Do you want me to kill him? I didn't know if he was joking. We yeah, shouldn't totally know him like that yet. It's a beautiful day. We should take him to Kingsmith. Why did it look like Snowflake? One day, not so long ago, you held enough power to write my name into the White Book. When your father named me to his king's guard, it was the highest honor any Cole had ever known. All that I have, I owe to you. Aww. Now, I'd hardly call that toothless, princess. He's appreciative. So their hunt is a lot different than Robert Baratheon's hunt. Right. Remember, he was just chilling in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Who did he have, Rimley? Yeah, his brothers. <laughs> Your grace. How far? The droppings were found half a league to the east. Still fresh. That's not fair. That's like 80 men. <laughs> My best scout spied him. The beast is upward of 35 stone. And we now have his trail. Right. Before the dragons rolled over Westeros, White Hart was the symbol of royalty in these lands. And on this day of all days. Hey, look at his shirt. I've never been one for signs of importance, Your Grace. But if the gods did wish to show their favor. Do you notice he's got the citadel on us? Yeah, it's like a. I don't know why he's a sigil if he's a hand, right? You're not supposed to do that, right? Their armor, though, the King's Guard is so nice. Like with all those like lines on it, right there. So cool. Did you point out the citadel on the chest, or just the chain? Just the chain. Your grace. Oh, okay. The citadel's a new addition. I had this forged in the Golden Gallery in honor of Prince Aegon. He's being a real kiss ass today. Uh, it's quite a thing. I hope it might provide the killing stroke against your white heart. King of the King's Wood. It's as if the seven themselves have blessed this day. Thank you for your generosity. Are we going to pretend like we know what a heart is? Because <laughs> I, well, I don't know what a heart is. <laughs> I, I don't know. So they're saying that this thing is a white heart and it's some type of symbol. Like of, a mythical creature, it seems. To be honest, I was just going to be patient. I was just <laughs> riding it out. I was like, you know, I'm just going to pretend. That's what I've been doing, pretending like I know what a heart is. a damn white hedgehog. <laughs> to take the Princess Rhaenyra to wife. Up, or like a up. little rat. I would be honored to take the Princess Rhaenyra to wife, Your Grace. What I offer you, the crown and your daughter, is strength. Do you think that Haas Targaryen wants for strength? <laughs> if someone offered you more dragons, would you not take them? Do you have dragons to offer? Just gold. Castle Rock is a splendid seat. Rhaenyra may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? If you were to name young Aegon heir, Your Grace. And when would I be doing that? I had assumed, as he's your firstborn son, many of us had assumed... Many of us, you say? Have your bannermen questioned my choice of them? Of course not, Your Grace. It is your sworn duty to report rebellion stirring in my kingdom. Rebellion? There has been nothing of the sort, Your oh. Grace. I, 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 I did not need... decide to name Rhaenyra my heir on a whim. All the lords of the kingdom would do well to remember that. Tell them, Viserys. I know, right? Your Lannister scum. Thank you <laughs> for the gift. Your Grace. Thanks, but no thanks. I like that. I like that exchange right there. Because he he let him know. He was what? strong. I like that. <sighs> the huntsman <laughs> has the trail, Your Grace, and has sent out the hounds. It won't be long now until the white heart is cornered. Your prize is within reach. So they're hunting it for him? What do you make of Basically. Lord Jason's proposal? That man's pride has pride. You're not only Rhaenyra's father, you're the king. She'll do as you command. It is not my wish to command her. I want her to be happy. Right, Otto. We know you like to do that, Otto. Otto say he ain't There is position. another choice beyond Casterly Rock. One perhaps you might be more comfortable with, one closer to home. Who do you have in mind? Prince Egon. Well, I mean... Oh, that's so complicated, bro. I thought he oh, meant to marry Rhaenyra. Yes, I'm like, what the? But it would cease the endless proposals for Rhaenyra's <laughs> hand. <laughs> Betrothed them. I came here to hunt, not to be suffocated by all this.
f***ing politicking. <laughs> Let us speak no more of it. But you have to because you're king, though. Guys, that's so complicated, man, because I want to like Otto a lot, but his intentions line up with mischievous deeds a lot. Good intentions and mischievous deeds seem to be one and the same with him. Right. Like, and he he looks like Pycelle, but he acts like Littlefinger right now. Ooh. He is celebrating that name day. It's a lonely position to be in right there. We've sent outriders to find Rhaenyra, your grace. Sir Criston went after her, so the hope is that they are together. The girl is a heedless contrary. If I instead forbade her to wed a Lannister, she would have run off with Lord Jason out of spite. <laughs> Truly great Targaryen king I am. Powerless over my own daughter of seven and ten. King Jaehaerys ruled over half a century of peace while his children drove him to the edge of madness. His daughters in particular. It is tradition, Your Grace. Teenagers. They're so complicated. Do you wish to hear my opinion on the matter? No. <laughs> Not really. He's tired of Should the I politicking. Guess. It would seem to me the best match for Rhaenyra is the son of the sea snake, Selenor. Some years ago, I counseled you to take his sister to wife. My reasoning remains the same. Lenor is of pure Valyrian descent. He shares blood with your cousin, the Princess Renice, and he is the heir to the wealthiest house in the realm. The breach between your houses has not narrowed since I last spoke of it. It would do much to assuage Lord Corlys of any slights, real or imagined. We must pray, of course, that Lenor survives the fighting in the Stepstones. What? She's refusing to go back. <laughs> what? She's like on a 4-H trip <laughs> in the middle of the woods. Do you think the realm will ever accept me as their queen? I have no choice but to, princess. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a boar. It's a Baratheon basher. <laughs> Man, you better back up, boar. Go get him, Kristen. There we go. Uh, oh. Good job, Kristen. What's his name? Kristen? With an O. Sir Kristen. <laughs> Piggly Wiggly. Oh. oh. Dang. He's for real. You know who that reminds me of? Uh, what's that girl's name off The Last of Us? Ellie. Ellie. Yeah, remember when she, when she went crazy and stabbed mm -hmm. that guy? You're not Targaryen, girl. Back up. Is everything all right, Sir Grace? Uh, I named her Protect the Realm from Daemon. She was my only child. The Realm's delight. I named her Heart of Love because I no longer believed. Believed what, my love? Many in my line have been dragon riders. Very few among us have been dreamers. He's talking about the visions, right? Probably. What is Targaryen the path dreamers? of a dragon? It's the path of prophecy. The hour is too late, husband. When Rhaenyra was a child, oh. I saw it in a dream. As vivid as these flames, I saw it. A male babe, born to me, wearing the conqueror's crown. And I so wanted it to be true. I sought that vision again, night after night. But it never came again. I poured all my thought and will into it. My obsession killed Rhaenyra's mother. Oh, Sense. that's why he did that. I thought Rhaenyra was the way out of my abyss of grief and regret. That naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. That I would have a son. What if I was wrong? That was deep, wasn't it? Right. That was crazy, God. Has she not considered Aegon herself? Because she doesn't seem to be pushing it. Kind of get the vibe. She doesn't get a say. Right. I mean, for what it's worth, she's doing her best to be what she needs to be for the round. She's not pressuring him. She's not doing anything. She's just doing what she thinks. She's is just right. listening, really. The ladder. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. There's a ladder person. <laughs> Imagine that's your job. I guess if you're the king, you can't afford to break your ankle jumping off a horse. Right. Oh, that's not even right, dude. Prancer over here. I know. Your grace, for the kill, 
Ugh. Man, you should be shooting arrows, not like... You should have hunted them down like a man instead of having your boys capture them and tie them up like this. That's not even right, yeah, this honestly. Is weird. He doesn't want to do it. Look at him. I don't want to do it. This is what I hurt your feelings. Please, the, the, I have to tell myself this is CGI. <laughs> that was sad. Uh... So you had to do that because of tradition? The king just has an annual hunt or something? I guess. I guess when you have a kid's birthday, you gotta go kill an animal. I might have totally missed why they do that. I guess. Not me. Boo. It's like catching fish in a pay lake. Right. Oh, that's the white one but right look there. Look at his horns. That's so crazy. I mean, antlers, not horns. No way. <laughs> Yeah, you wasn't about to walk up there and slice that thing anyways. I know. You better get a bow and arrow. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what you think it was about to sword fight with you? <laughs> <laughs> what if it did with its antlers? It's just an interesting contrast because the king didn't want to kill it. It wasn't even the right one, and he did it to show strength, but he was really doing it because he was weak. But she didn't want to hunt it because she's strong. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Right. But they said it, sh it shows royalty when you see that, and she's the one who's seen it. Oh, interesting. I thought it was just whoever killed it's the goat. <laughs> well, that too, but I think he was thinking if he killed that thing, it would be a good sign for his son because it's his second birthday. I don't know. Like the white one. It's like a sign from like... Like his, he just was saying like at the, the fire. or something. Remember the, at the fire he's saying he trusts prophecies as much as he world, did. Yeah. yeah. He's like dragons and prophecies are just the same strength. I like that chromed out character thing. Nice. I know. Look at this one though. Not at all. Did you enjoy the hunt, Your Grace? Well enough. How fared my grandson? He's the future of the realm. When you bore the king a son, you ended 15 years of uncertainty and doubt. Aegon, like his namesake, was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. If Viserys were to name him heir, the realm would fate him for it. Do you not want your son to be king? What mother wouldn't? Me. <laughs> you mustn't ignore the certain truth that if Rhaenyra were to step over Aegon to ascend the throne, the realm would tear itself apart. They all swore obeisance to her. Our house among them. That was before Aegon. Rhaenyra would be a good queen. It wouldn't matter if she were Jaehaerys himself, born again. Rhaenyra is a woman. What of my son? Would you have me raise a man to steal his own sister's birthright? It is Aegon that's being robbed. He's the firstborn son of the king. To deny that he is heir to the throne is to assail the laws of gods and men. Yeah, you might be pissed if you're him. You're like, what? The road ahead is uncertain, but the end is clear. Aegon will be king. You must guide Viserys towards reason. He's just... He'll never find it on his own. <sighs> was that you stirring the pot? Okay, husband? I wasn't sure what you was the doing The gods have punished me. My indulgences. At least the wine was good. <sighs> Too good. I was hoping we might discuss something. Rhaenyra. It's a hot topic. <laughs> I do not think she enjoyed Jason Lannister's company. She is cross. I warned you that she would be. Rhaenyra has come of age. She must needs marry a high lord who will honor her, defend her, and serve her as king consort. Her wishes in this matter are irrelevant. I do believe that Rhaenyra will marry your grace, but she must believe it is her choice to do so. What's this? A letter from Vaemon Valarian. Sea Snake's brother? Yeah. Interesting. He's fighting in the Stepstones with all the rest of them. And we're no showing, apparently. Lord Corliss and Prince Damon are losing their war. Badly, by all accounts. This is a plea for aid. You're at war, Viserys. Then why not send it? Because it is a war started by two malcontents, unhappy with decisions I made. If I now provide Damon and call his sucker, what will that say of their king? Perhaps that he is a good man who loves his brother. Well, if you truly believe that, my dear, then you possess a generous spirit. What do you believe, Viserys? That I am forever doomed to anger one person in the pleasing of another. Can't then I all. pose a simpler question. Is it better for the realm if the crab feeder thrives or is vanquished? That's the problem. You don't really know. Right. Make 
nipple helmet. Cone head. I hate that thing. Looking like a bishop on a chessboard. I'm sending word to Damon. Aid is sailing to the Stepstones. Did he make call for help? He would sooner die. But his king does not mean to allow that. Do you not think my decision correct? No consequence to what I think, as I'm often reminded. <laughs> Damon is thorn enough in my flesh. Will you insist on taking after him? Must everything be a battle? If you refer to attempt to marry me off to Casterly Rock... I am sorry, Rhaenyra. I was trying to help you. Will you not be helped? Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted, as if to the death? Because you mean to replace me with Alicent Hightower's son. The boy you always wanted. You have him in hand now. You have no further use for me. You might as well peddle me for what you can. A mountain stronghold or a fleet of ships. You have misjudged me, Rhaenyra. Oh, know it. Jason Lannister knows it. You said it yourself. The lords of the realm gather like vultures to a carcass, hoping to feast on my bones. It is true that as rulers we must marry for advantage, to forge alliances and bolster our strength. You have always understood this. I myself was promised to your mother when I was ten... Ten and seven years of age. The Vale had an army to rival the North. I've heard that story since I've had ears too. <laughs> I loved her. She made a man of me. I do not seek to replace you, child. You've been much alone these last few years. Alone and angry. I will not live forever. I wish to see you contented. Happy even. You think a man would do it? A family? I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. <laughs> <clears throat> that is true enough. You must marry. Strengthen your own claim. Shore up your succession. Multiply. As to your match, make it yourself. Dang. Search him out. Find one that pleases you, as I did. She's like, careful what you wish for, Dad. Rhaenyra, I did waver at one time. But I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. Dang. That's a big promise right there. I know. He's just doing his best, I think. Yeah, and she's the last living memory of his wife who passed away. Who's apparently his love. So I can understand why, in a sense, in his heart, maybe he wants her to rule. Right, because, uh, like you said, his wife made a man of him. Right. You see him firing on these ships. They're losing <laughs> that war. They look like, what's his name when he couldn't hit the ship? In Game Edmure. Of Thrones? Yeah, Edmure. <laughs> Edmure shooting. Dragons can soak all bloodstone until they fall out of the sky. We must give them one. An offering of flesh to bait the crab. Who? Dragon returning! <laughs> Damon's. Yes. Who? Damon's dragon looks skinny, don't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Show me the knight who will march into that helping nephew, and I will show you a madman. Damon. Damon. Damon is why we are losing. <laughs> he at least is fighting this war. What role have you played in this council, Uncle? Other than master of complaints. Enough! They know. If King's Landing will not support Dave, why should any of us? Oh, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Blood or no, Raymond, I will not have you stoke mutiny. There's lots of brothers in the show. Mm -hmm. If you do not seize control of this war, my lord, the crabs will soon dine on all of us. Prince Damon, I bring word from His Grace Viserys Targaryen. First of his name, King of the Andals, the Roinar, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. The Roinar, what is that? Comment below. <laughs> What's this about to say? You could have read it out loud if you really wanted to. Bro, don't shoot the messenger. Straight up, that's exactly where that phrase was coined from. Little jacked up, Damon. So whatever that letter said was really bad for him. I have ordered 10 ships and 2,000 men to set sail from King's Landing to join the effort in the Stepstones. Though time and circumstance have seen us estranged, know that it is not my desire to see you fail in your cause. 
It is instead my hope that this aid will deliver the victory that has thus far evaded us. Why is he mad then? I shall pray nightly to the gods for your safe return. So he's pissed off because his brother's helping him because he's that arrogant? He's like, bump this. I wanted to do this myself. Prove my worth. Right, I didn't need you. So he's pulling up. Solo dolo. No shot. He didn't even ride his dragon. Hell no, he didn't. <laughs> he said, row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Dang, those crabs really did get to a lot of those people. That's crazy. What? Oh, he's giving up the war. White flagging. So He'd rather give up the war than accept help? <laughs> oh, dang. That's insane. I can't believe it. That guy said, oh, finally. I thought crabs were crustacean. They didn't even eat humans. They do today. Ugh. Oh, but he has a side sword. He's not pulling a fast one, is he? Well, why are they about to shoot him? They got archers surrounding him. He can't do nothing slick. All right. Unless he did like a quick backwards roll. <laughs> Wait, so they get to take his sword? Oh no. I knew it, cause this dude's. Yeah. This yeah. No way is this guy. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. Dodge arrows. <laughs> when he did that Spartan kick, that reminds me of Assassin's Creed. Because that's what it's called on there. Dang, David's second leg. Did you see that? Mm hmm. No way. Oh, they're all fighting out of fear, huh? Maybe. I feel like they are. That's the vibe I got. I'm gonna be real with y'all. These people, these archers ain't worth a damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> they like 0 for 6,000. They're about as much help as the Golden Company was in Game of Thrones. I know. Targaryens came in and took them out, boy. Oh! Ah! Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. They heard you talking. He's like, I'll show you, Mrs. October. I know. You think we can't shoot? That guy has scabies. No shot. All right, where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? It's either a dragon or getting off sun's eagles. I mean, if we just held the sword out and spun around in circles for a long time, maybe they won't come near you. <laughs> a little topsy turvy. <laughs> oh, let's go. They showed up. Ooh. There we go. Oh, is that who is that, right? Another guy? Oh! Another man riding the thing. Kind of sounds weird when the dude said your cars. I need that a while. <laughs> Is that normal for you? Yeah. <laughs> Who's what did that he one? shout for? Dragon? He should have prayed, not shouted. This man hit him with a fake out. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'll be doing my tennis racket. <laughs> Damon's chasing him down. That dude's running in the cave. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> Don't crap do that for real. Hiding holes in the... Yeah, they do. Now, what dragon's he riding? I need to know. Did he kill him? Was that him? I don't know. You need some big crab crackers for those ones. 
That's some imitation crab right there. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no you lucky crab. love that. <laughs> oh, that's him. We didn't even get to see him kill him. Mm -mm. A little bit of intestines. Damon, you colder than the Night King. That's what's up, Damon. He did that before his brother's ships came. <laughs> Hell yeah, he did. He said, you He's ain't taking troll. my moment, for sure. He's such a troll. <laughs> Guys, that was good. Damn, that was good. Uh, let me pull up my trusty, rusty episode. Y'all. That was cold, bro. That was cold. Damon, okay, guys. Damon's kind of the truth. <laughs> so that was second of his name, man. Uh, we started out, it was all about politics, politics, politics. King Viserys went on a hunt. It seemed to be almost in celebration of his son's second name day. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> okay, so, and I guess maybe that's why we didn't get that in Game of Thrones, you know, uh, because we didn't have any heirs being born. So right. maybe that explains that, but, because I remember Robert going hunting and it just wasn't really a big deal, but I really like this episode, man. This is all about politics. You see Viserys. Viserys is someone who's becoming really disgusted with all the, basically with all the snakes surrounding him, man. He feels like right. everywhere he looks, he just sees a bunch of self-interested people and obviously, everyone's politicking yeah because right. the higher you get on that hierarchy ladder man the smaller it gets up there and your circle of friends becomes very condensed and you realize everyone's only there for a reason and it's to essentially set their family up for the right next it's all calculated yeah. it's all calculated but i mean real life's no different even right. even on some level like we choose our friends you know mm. like we have to be strategic about like who we choose to let in our yeah we choose so. alliances yeah, our, yeah as as humans daily absolutely we do very interesting, man. So there's a really weird thing with his daughter. Um, she seems to be really concerned that he's going to supplant her with the new baby. Right. Which is kind of weird to me, man, because early on she didn't really want the power. But now I think she wants to do it just to prove that like, women can be in charge or something. Right. So, well, I think she just heard a bunch from different people, like including her aunt, including people around her. Just like that they don't really want her to rule. They would rather have a whiny two-year-old baby rule over her <laughs> yeah. and that's you know that's it would be tough to hear so i guess like maybe she's gonna do that in spite of everybody saying that like she's gonna try her best to you know yeah it's one of those things man i think she definitely just wants to prove people wrong which right. is an amazing mindset you know if you're that young woman especially considering the fact that no women are allowed to rule in this world and it's just something that would break the social norms and so if her mentality moving forward is i'm gonna prove everyone wrong and be the best possible leader and the strongest queen for the realm as i could possibly be then i mean there's nothing but you can't say anything but anything positive about that right so i hope well, that she does that i think with this hunt though to me it was just symbolic for how much people are on board with aegon over her because she was even the guy the lannister guy was like hey what about you you didn't have a birthday party this big and she's like yeah aegon won't remember it but you know it's really what it represents right and it's also funny because lannisters are walking up to targaryens asking for their daughter's hands in open in marriage like that and it just really goes to show we are at a time of peace so um you know in game of thrones if a baratheon and a targaryen was in you know if they was in the same room there'd be a brawl you know right. like they would i feel like they were a lot more in in this it was a lot less cutthroat about like marriages and stuff and here it seems like more I don't know how to explain it. Like, what are you trying to say? Like in Game of Thrones, when when a marriage was proposed, it felt like really forced, cutthroat. But in this one, it doesn't seem that way that much. It seems well, more like she gets uh, there's like a ton of options. There's like a floorboard. And then he was sitting there telling her, "I won't force you. You can choose a maid of your mm -hmm. own desire and all that." I think it really just stems from the fact that they're in peace times, right? You know. And then when we move forward into the Game of Thrones timeline of it into the future there's so much damage and you know every interaction is a history lesson about right. something that went terribly wrong because people didn't follow their their you know their oaths and they didn't follow tradition right and it led to a lot of chaos and turmoil but also with what you're saying there seems to be in game of thrones there was a more sense of urgency with these marriages and alliances whereas in this one they, she's 17 now she's even been able to be 17 and hasn't got married off yet you know what i'm saying i think in this People are thinking, I have to set my line, my family line up for the future because I want to empower our houses. I think the motivation in Game of Thrones was everyone was in open conflict with each other. Right. And the best way to keep your head on your shoulders was through marriage. So right. I think the urgency was Because just you're there. like sending that that person to someone's house to like protect your family, so to say. Well, everyone in the Game of Thrones world is in open conflict. So, you know... And they're essentially in the middle of... And they're in the throes of a war. Yeah. So marriage is just... 
you know, the same as loading up like a like a missile. Right. It's the exact same thing. So the consequences obviously are going to be a lot higher in the midst of war. And that's, mm-hmm. you know, appears to be the theme in this is war is coming, but Viserys hasn't really seen it. But it looks like to me, my boy, my boy, Big D over here just took him out into this <laughs> war. Doesn't it seem like it? Right. It does. Guys, I've liked this character from the beginning, man. He is cold. <laughs> he's icy. Uh, got just enough flavor, man. Everything I like in a character. Love him. Love Damon. Favorite character so No, far. that was crazy that the messenger came up and was like giving him some great news when he heard they were losing. And this man kills that guy. <laughs> like, and then and then takes a, what is those little boats called? Dingies? Or dungies? I don't know what they called them. Ding- oh, I think that's what uh, Tyrion, Tyrion called. Left, yeah, yeah, he, he called it a Jamie, dinghy. A dinghy, yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah, because you take a dinghy to get onto a ship. I would just say a little I know for, I, I know because on Assassin's Creed, when you go whale hunting, you take the dinghy. Anyways, mm-hmm. y'all know what I'm talking about. But, um... Anyways, he took a dean and he just single handedly like handled the crab man. The idea that his brother was going to bail him out of his conquest, his war, you know, his chance to prove not only strength, not only am I powerful, not only do I deserve to be considered for the line of secession. Mm. I love you, brother. I'm I'm the best (laughs) brother. He obviously really wants his brother's attention. And the idea that in his brother, I think in his brother's mind, the fact that little brother needed bailing out that really hurt his ego right and he would have rather died than disappoint his brother i don't really understand what's up with him and his brother i guess maybe it's just the power of the king i think it, i think what 100 percent it was was he pretty much didn't demoted him to give it to rhaenyra so i think like he's just taking the i got whole demoted thing like he's trying to prove his like strength and worth after that yeah I don't know, man. Maybe you could have just not stole those dragon eggs and ran off to Dragon Stone with them. That might would have been a good thing to yeah, do. Yeah, you were low-key wildin'. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you had an episode where you were straight wildin' for some reason. So, I appreciate you taking out the Crab King, but we back to square one because <laughs> you you tripping over here. Really love that, man. Uh, so, Viserys, obviously, is just getting upset. Everyone that approaches him, he obviously asked that question, too. We saw Rhaenyra. She killed a boar. Right. The way that she killed the boar so was... Brutally. The boar attacked her, and she didn't want conflict she didn't want to be brutal but when conflict came she was not scared of a fight she ended up killing the boar and then you get the king viserys he kills he was the p-word loki i hate to say it yeah but but when you're killing an animal like that you gotta you know what i'm saying i guess you gotta buck at the animal before you stab (laughs) it i guess that's just how you gotta do it usually Usually she does the hunting, so she usually does all the. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you're about to kill that thing in front of all these people, if you're gonna look like a a weenie, like that kind of resembles kind of how you're you're ruling. Yeah, just on a gut level, man. When you sit there and you watch someone trap an animal like that, I think that's why there's rules against like shooting deer off of like a deer feeder. You can't right. do that. There's just something really unnatural and inhumane about that, and. King Viserys went through with it, man, and he basically was just doing what he felt like duty compelled him to do, even though it was really messing with his conscience, it appeared. And like I said, it wasn't even the right one. It wasn't even the white one. So I don't really know what he stood to prove. He didn't even kill it on the first try, which was kind of embarrassing. It just showed that he like kind of sucked at being a killer. Like Right. And then and then Damon got him a kill. And his motivation was different too. His was that of like, dude, I'm strong, I'm arrogant. I'm him, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what that means, but it's just really interesting because I did notice that all three of these characters had to kill something in this episode. Right. But then but then guys, we we I think that Viserys said at the at the campfire to Alicent how important that was because he said, Okay, there's tar- our us Targaryens are sometimes divided. There's us that are dragon riders, there's us that are dreamers. And he said the dreamers are just as dangerous as the dragon riders because they'll have these prophecies that come to them and then they're not sure what choices they make due to it. And sometimes those choices can be very radical and very... And it reminded me of brash. Melisandre with right. supporting Stannis. Like, well, she did a lot of terrible things right. because she was misinterpreting signs. Or maybe what? Right. Maybe she didn't misinterpret. Maybe the it Lord was, of Light just right. demands a really bad sacrifice. Or maybe it was all like calculated through the Lord of Light to like to sacrifice Stannis and stuff like that. But it was so interesting because Viserys was talking about his vision and how it never came to him again. And that's what chose him to go down the path that he chose. So right. it's just really interesting. Well, he felt like after, I'm sorry to interrupt no, no, please, please, but please. he felt like after his wife um, died that he wasn't going to have any more kids. Like that was it for him. He didn't think he was going to get remarried, which is why he chose Rhaenyra. Right. He didn't. Yeah. He, he was saying he didn't see all that so he made that choice and not only did he tell her you're in line he promised her nothing's mm. gonna get in the way of this so 
He's on in a his, really on her honor. One yeah. of my favorite characters uh, besides Damon is definitely. Well, so far, man, I really like Viserys. I like Otto a lot. Well, I like everybody. You I like, like Otto? Everybody. I Otto gets on my nerves every time really? I see his face. I'm irritated. Right. Well, I guess that's the difference. I don't. I don't really mind Otto. I just don't understand his intentions. But in terms of a character, I really like him. Like, I like I, him because yeah. the writing is so good in the show where everything that he's just in this weird position where everything that's good for the realm is happens to be good for him and sometimes man that happens right you know, those two things aren't necessarily mutually exclusive but it just makes me very suspicious of him but i do like his right. character a lot very interesting i'm finding it really weird though like he's pointed out in the episode how he's supporting his like vi vigil or sigil or whatever because it, like a hand, I feel like when you're when you pick like the person, you should be mutually exclusive. right. They should, like you should they should be wearing up, your yeah. team colors. You know what I'm saying? They should wear the crown, right? Like all of them, he shouldn't be right. So yeah. he's supporting his his sigil, which is sketch to me. Like it just is showing like he's doing what's best for his for him yeah, and his the symbolism. Yeah, right? yeah, him and his, which everyone is though. I don't want to put right, that but it. he's he's being more blunt about it in my opinion because you're the hand. Like that's just how I'm seeing it. But if you wanted to make the claim that Otto's intentions are actually to serve the realm, and it just so happens that. In his mind, Damon would be what was his name, Megar the Cruel, or something like that. Some, some something drunk. like that. He's like convinced that he could be a king before. And he's also convinced guy. that maybe he, you know, maybe in his mind, he wants his daughter and his grandchildren to grow up in a stable realm like he was able to do. Right. And he raised his daughter in a in peace times, and because he's yeah, he's hand. So yeah. So it's just really interesting because like I, I get I said, his man, side. Trust me, I get his side, but I can. I'm just getting the vibe that he's up. To no good. You guys know what I'm saying, man. Like when you meet someone, you get in an argument with someone, and it just so happens that you know good and well they got bad intentions, but they mm. have the perfect narrative written out, and you just can't quite penetrate it because they got a damn good story. That's how right. Otto is. You just can't penetrate him because every sneaky thing he does, me lord, I'm doing it for the realm, me lord. It makes sense, and it does make sense. And you know, and we're gonna see. I guess, uh, well, no, I was gonna say, what's her name had to marry the sea snake son. Well, they did offer that. They said they but should. But then he said that you can marry who you right. want. Right. So. But and Allison even said very clearly, make it seem like it's her choice because that's the kind of stubborn she is. Exactly. Yeah. So maybe I don't I don't know exactly who she's gonna choose, but I hope it's not the king of Flea Bottom. Right. And then obviously, man, coldest scene. Damon gets that letter. Says bump all this. I'm about to go take. Things in my own hands. It turns out that the Crab King, whatever his name was, uh, sorry, I'm calling him the wrong thing, but I seriously forget what his name is. He really wasn't that tough at the end of the day. Right. Damon sort of one man. He was band. just a stepstone. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely a stepstone man, hundred percent. So Damon went and ate him like some crab salad. That was pretty mm -hmm. easy work for him. I right. love the white flag scene, man. I thought that was really cool. I got, but at the end of the day, you know what it reminded me of totally because I just feel like in times and maybe not in these times there's rules of war and i feel like that was a red wedding type of offense to do the surrender well probably and then not hit because it seemed like these people right here they were doing some pretty shisty stuff too well it seemed like either way they were gonna shoot him and i don't know it also sort of seems like i don't know we'll see I, maybe there are ramifications from that but I, I definitely see what you're saying all right guys let's get into the next episode king of the narrow sea king of the narrow sea <laughs> let's go Any future Dornish incursions. <laughs> Dornish incursions. And though my seat may be lesser in size, it is situated most pleasingly. The view across the marches is inspiring. So said Queen Alizan herself when she honored my father and I. And tell me, Lord and did you think my great grandmother is beautiful as they say? This was. Half a century ago, mm. princess. Ooh, an old yes, man joke. So they're like trying out. Yeah. Unseemly, princess. The man Auditions. is older than my father. It's unseemly for him to put himself forward as a contender for my hand. Next. It's kind of rude. He tried. Like, he tried. Should have said thank you, sir. Oh, geez. Common. A youngster. <laughs> and now a child. <laughs> Can we get the a medium Black here? Woods are an ancient house with a formidable army. 
In the Riverlands, they once ruled as kings. The blood of the first man still flows in their veins. Go on. My princess. Ours is a bond that has long endured. Since Lucas Blackwood, the grandsire of my grandsire, aided the dragon in his war of conquest. Aye, the Blackwoods truly turned the tide on that one. <laughs> Caused with the blood of the first men, our history is deeply rooted in this land, which your house has made its home. If chosen as your match, Princess, your day shall be easy and night safe under my protection. Aww. Protection? <laughs> the Princess has a dragon, you dumb <laughs> Who's this bully? Right. Reckon. I not like that one. Uh, let us have the next. So we may go to supper. Craven. <laughs> oh. We're leaving. She that steal you twat! Send word to the harbor and have Captain Oswin ready the ship. Princess, would you enjoy Dang, that little boy's for real. I'd happily bow myself back to King's Landing if I brought an end to this ridiculous pageant. <laughs> Don't look, princess. Oh my gosh. That was kind of insane, right? I mean, you would think there'd be laws against such things, right? I know. He went to go, like, obviously he matters. <laughs> That's a good way to start a war between your houses. I know. <laughs> we should make landfall inside the hour, princess. How do you think he would take it? Do you speak of how you rejected every suit his grace put before you, or how you abruptly ended the tour with two months remaining? <laughs> yeah, Kristen's armor is insane. I know it is. And so is her dresses. I know, all of her dresses. And they always have her looking different, mm -hmm. too. I love the costumes. They'll have her in gold sometimes. She's always Targaryen. Ow. Damn. He's got the skinny lizard dragon. You right? Are you? Fetch the maester. I'm fine. Like, this is my uncle stirring it up. Dang, she's like. <laughs> she's like. <laughs> is it court time or something? We hear all them whispers. <laughs> Did you get a haircut or something? <laughs> oh, he's got a crown on. Add it to the chair. This crap man's. Add it to the chair. No, he said chair. Oh. Add it to the chip. <laughs> <laughs> you said chip. You wear a crown. Do you also call yourself king? Once we smash the triarchy, they name me king of the narrow sea. Title. But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. I Otto's feel the same way, Otto. I feel the same way. The stepstones <laughs> are yours. I feel like he made the story up, crafted a little fake crown, <laughs> like a fake Where community no crown. <laughs> he sailed home like to Driftmark. Who holds the stepstones? The tides. The crabs and 2,000 dead triarchy corsairs stake to the sand to warn those who might follow. Not bad, not bad. You have a castle, my lord. <laughs> this is real one. No votes cast for him will count. Rise. All right, he did it short staff too. Guys, I'll be highly disappointed by the end of the series if someone doesn't pick someone up and throw them on top of those swords right there. Wouldn't that be a sick way to kill someone? The realm owes you a great death. Ugh. Not that I want to do it, but. Come. Aw. Bros. No, 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 no. I will not revisit this debate. You are always mother's favorite. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory. Thank you, Princess. <laughs> They're so smug with each other. Perhaps Prince Damon would care for a tour of the gallery. He hasn't yet seen the new tapestries gifted to you by Norris and Cahors. Would you like to see the tapestry? <laughs> 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 
I would Why is he shoot. making fun of his old lady, though? He has no interest in such things. What a dick. Because no guy's like that. <laughs> like well, he's he's showing her up in front oh, of his well, own brother, though. Oh, well, deprive yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> I shall enjoy them alone. <laughs> She's like, no thanks. Worst stepmom ever. You surmise the tour did not go well? I enjoyed it as long as I could. Have every young knight and lord in the Seven Kingdoms fawning over you. What misery. It is rare for girls in this realm to get a choice between two suitors, no less two score. Those men and boys don't fawn over me. They only want my name in my Valyrian blood for their offspring. I think it's rather romantic. Hater. How romantic it must be to get imprisoned in a castle and me to squeeze out to heirs. <laughs> That's what she's doing. Low blow. Well, it's like Sir Criston said, a lot of people would take that position, but from her perspective, I get it. That was the... How angry is he? The king went through great effort to arrange your tour. He is. Frustrated. I like to believe I'm still the Lady Alison. All anyone sees when they look at me now is the queen. I've missed you too. Aww. So she's up in that castle having babies getting super lonely, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, what do you want? Only the comforts of home. Does he like her? <clears throat> I'm getting the vibe. <clears throat> I'm getting the idea that I they got a little that. Because the necklace is so symbolic. Time. We got a term for this. It's called Targaryen tension. Though I do suppose you seem changed by your it's adventures. It's called incestuous. Mature, perhaps. You've matured yourself these last four years, princess. Mm -mm -mm. You'll get used to the attention. The attention I can endure. It's the rest I could do without. My father seems content to sell me off to whichever lord is the biggest castle. You know, worse things to be sold for. <laughs> What a name for her. Abrasir <laughs> No, he really don't like his wife, mm -hmm. do he? <laughs> I'm curious to see her. I don't know how to run the apicago in his head. I don't such a lonely prospect. The stepstones were meant to be one for the realm, but over the past few days, it seems we have traded a crab feeder for a sea stink. This is clearly Ooh. a rebuke for passing over Lady Lena for Queen Alison. Years have passed since the business with his daughter. Certainly, it cannot still be wrath. The sea snake is an overproud man, to be sure, Your Grace. He that sounds like a maester. <laughs> Perhaps we can sell the wound. I fear Lord Corliss's pride is the least of our worries. I don't wish to cause you further distress, Your Grace, but my brother has sent disturbing word from Old Town. Lord Corliss is said to have engaged in negotiations with the Sea Lord of Bravos. He plans to wed his daughter Lena to the Sea Lord's son. That's crazy. If House Valarian entered into an alliance with the Free Cities, then we would have to seek our own marriage pact. He jumped continents. <laughs> he said, Essos it is. They're so synchronized. Just a little girl. Good night, Sir Kristen. Sleep well, princess. His job kind of sucks. Just sit out there? Right. You don't even have a phone or nothing to look at? Mm -hmm. Or a book? Oh, 
Why'd she sniff that? <laughs> A map. What? Bro, what in the world? She didn't know that was there. That's so cool, though. What in the Sherlock Holmes is going on? <laughs> so anyone can just bust up in her room, right? <laughs> you need to put Sir Kristen out there. She got a beanie on? Man, she looks like Peter Pan. <laughs> No, a hipster. Right. <laughs> so he drew that map? No way. No, he didn't. What is going on? He's an assassin. Where are we going? So she's going to like a street party? <laughs> I guess so. Mardi Gras. Oh, she's like Arya, acting like a boy. <laughs> she laughed about it. Uh uh. <sighs> That's all the cuts. Let me take that. Leave us, all of you. That's a lot of people to be in there when you're taking a bath <laughs> in a tiny tub like that. I was sitting there wondering if I would love that or hate that. You would not fit in that tub. <laughs> you I'm would just be talking like, about all that extra No, hands. but if you were in that tub, you would be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're way too tall for that tub. I'd have all kinds of stuff all flopping on that tub. <laughs> My legs, arms. Thank you, husband. And now we come to the matter of the great iron chair. And whose bum <laughs> might bear? Oh. <laughs> king names his daughter, a girl, his heir. <laughs> the propaganda. <laughs> but then to him, a babe is born. That's Alice. <laughs> a son. <laughs> so which heir might that chair bear? Who will it be? The brother, the daughter, or the little princeling of three? Make fun of Damon while you're at it. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> He's crying. Ew. Rhaenyra, the realm's delight. A girl so young and so slight, loved by all of her people, but would she make a powerful queen or would she be feeble? Though well, Egon the Babe Prince might long for a claim, he has two things Rhaenyra cannot a conqueror's name. But many of the small folk like to believe that as a male, Egon should be the heir. Mm. They want to have no consequence. <laughs> Wait, what's that called that we just talked about? They're of great consequence. Uh, that's their zeitgeist. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, see, see me using new vocab? That just yeah. means like the overall tone of like <laughs> society and stuff. Yeah, just a few words. You know I mean. But one night I wish to be free of the burdens of my inheritance. Mmm. I don't know what that is, but mmm. Four Copper Street Rat in King's Landing, we pay for our pleasures. Hey, stop, boy! Wait, I'll find him. <laughs> he called her a street rat. <laughs> so she didn't know that you had to pay for that? Well, she just thought that, because she's rich. Yeah, so when so people, people have bladders, up. you just walk up and grab what yeah. you want. <laughs> like them parties where people just grab the wine. I've never been to anything like that. <laughs> Somebody would slap me if I did that. I don't, that's five dollars, boy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's living in Aladdin style. <laughs> and who might you be running from now? Uh oh. It's the Hobbit. Princess. Don't. You take care, boy. <laughs> Next time you might not be so lucky. He knew her. Oh, it's a gold globe. Enjoyed that, did you? 
Who knows when our next taste freedom? <laughs> But if you're her, aren't you going to sneak out every night of your life now? Yeah, now that you know the secret passageway. Like, well, <laughs> Pardon me, Your Grace. The king has requested your presence. They don't even sleep together? Ooh, that means like... The hour is quite late. Oh, they went to a yoga club. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rhaenyra. <laughs> when I think of those times, I think that people smell, so I feel like that would be extra smelly. <clears throat> yeah, good times with uncle. No, she needs an ID. <laughs> <laughs> How old is she supposed to be in this? 17, but oh, still, she? she needs an ID. One more year, ma'am. If it was up to me, 10 more years, ma'am. Damon's basically got like a membership here. Yeah, but he'd just be <laughs> sitting in the middle of it, just chilling at times. Yeah. Yeah, I could sense this coming, couldn't you? Yeah, but why'd they have to go there for that? Just go in the cave, bro. Damon's the creepy uncle. Of I was starting 100%. to like him a little bit more, but that's kind of strange. <laughs> I mean, I'm not one to judge, you know, but. Oh, no. And she's not supposed to be doing this because she's mm -hmm. the queen. Or almost She's going to mess up her, her marriage. Uh, what's it called? She's like more valuable. Her stock's going to plummet, right, basically. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm confused by his tactics. So, like, why did he do this? Yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with him. I guess it's just a Tyrion lust for your siblings and stuff and your family. Right. Dang. He Damon? just left her. Where's your beanie? That little boy's like, you ain't gonna believe who I saw. <laughs> oh. Little bird? He looked like he was a little burning. Yeah. I know he's like, what the heck on my watch? You yeah, what? like, how did you escape? <laughs> Confused as mess. Princess, are you, are you hurt? I, I shall alert the Lord Commander. The wow. old come get the helmet trick. <laughs> Uh-oh. You finished? She's like, not yet. Thank are you. we about to be? <laughs> See, she's playing too much. She's going to get him in trouble. I know. He's not trying to do that. He's like, come on. <laughs> nah, he's trying to. <laughs> oh. You better walk out. No, brother. Stop. It's hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> So when her dad said choose, she's choosing the one person she kind of can't have. I guess so. Because he has like a vow to protect her, not sleep with her. Right. But she also just made out with her uncle. Yeah, you better brush your damn teeth. <laughs> that poor guy, he don't even know. Not to mention, they're being kind of slow about it. I might want to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, y'all starting with the cufflinks, chilling. He was just saying how he's the highest person in his family. So, like, this really sucks if he gets caught. Yeah, it kind of does. Huh? Not to mention, she probably tastes just like Damon. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this is complicated politically, huh? Yeah, because what if she's going to marry him now or something? I don't really know. I don't think she can. Oh, because he took a oath. Yeah. yeah he, oath. So he's double screwing his oath, like triple screwing. But can she? Can he say no because she's like the queen? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, he can say no, but he didn't. See, I'm not trying to be perverted, but it looked like my boy just finished and didn't pull out. <laughs> so is she pregnant or something? Like, it looked like she just... Apologies for late hour. Oh, what is it? A messenger brings word from the white worm. White worm? <gasps> uh oh.
Wait, so does that mean that that auto knows? It seemed like it that single boy did. Prisoner. I'm wondering why he's got old birds. That was once right. Else. I'm your protector. Lucky for you. you. Better hope she don't find out. This will cut the fog. I need protection from a common I'm not so common. And not so common then. I've left that life behind. I learned that the skin tray could only take me so far in this life. She's got a lot of discontent for him. Right. Building up. And then he openly calls her a common but I'm she's not gonna like, say that word only because like, YouTube <laughs> will demonetize me, but yeah, if we say that word they take her money. <laughs> it's crazy. Come. What is it? I apologize for the early hour, Your Grace. <laughs> I have um, discomforting news. I thought it best shared discreetly before the council convenes. This ah, episode started out me. mending relationships, bro. Don't destroy it. I'm afraid it concerns the princess, my king. You're a tattletale. You're a straight I tattletale. It is no easy thing to tell a father of his daughter's exploits. I had considered saying nothing, but... What has she done? I would point to that picture. The princess was spied <laughs> last evening, beyond the walls of the keep, in a pleasure house. What of it? She was carrying on with her uncle. They were engaged in behaviors unbecoming of a maiden, of a princess. I kind of agree with that, though. Like, don't do that openly. What behaviors? What must I say at your grace? You enter my bedchamber, accusing my daughter of something. Now speak it, plainly. Damon and Rhaenyra were seen together in the bowels of a pleasure den. <laughs> Coupling. 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 The daughter heard it. This is a lie. You have been lied to. I only wish that were true, your grace. Who is responsible for this gossip? Have this rumor monger brought before me at once, and I will take their eyes. Ooh. As your hand, I must maintain trusted sources of information, and this one as yet has never led me astray. And several of the servants have now admitted to seeing her. The princess, creeping through the gates from King's Landing, disguised Damn as it. a page. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't want to stop the video, but dude, he just said something so interesting to me. He said, as your hand of the king, as your servant, I must keep eyes in the city as if he does run various little birds but my thing is like are you really running these little birds because you're doing it for the king or are you doing it because you're just looking for every opportunity to exploit power for yourself it, when he's brought it earlier he said something about aegon and now like the next thing he talks to him about is his daughter doing something bad so it's like seems like he's really trying sorry guys if i don't pause it man i'll, I'll forget that and then I, you know i'll go the rest of the series and never say it and it just that was very interesting to me i yeah. really like that creeping through the gates from King's Landing, disguised as a page during the hour of the owl. <laughs> what code? Secret ambition that you would have my daughter stalked, spied upon, awaiting your best chance to destroy her reputation. I have no such intent, your grace. You think yourself a cunning man? Your designs are obvious. Do you wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you are willing to destroy mine own? Ooh. Just get out. <laughs> Leave me. Once. He's not buying it, he says. Your Grace. Yeah, when the information's out there, attack the source. That's what these Targaryens seem to do. Well, Viserys is weak. He believes it, though. <clears throat> Uh-oh. She seems upset, though. Dress, Sonora. Come. Princess. <laughs> Look what you started. Princess, I have a message from the queen. What if he finds out? He's gonna be heartbroken. Him? There's a dragon head. That's so cool. What happened last night? What do you mean? My father has made some worrying allegations about you. Were you with your uncle? 
I haven't seen him in years. He took me into the city for some fun. Tell me the whole of it, Rhaenyra. Your father accused me of something. Was I drank wine? Left the castle after dark? But you f***ed Damon in a pleasure house. That's what she was wanting Otto to say. <laughs> <laughs> this is a vile accusation. Is it? You Targaryens do have queer customs. <laughs> and Damon certainly knows no limit. Alicent, your grace, sister, you must know I would... I would never. You cannot believe such gossip. My father is no gossip. Well, certainly he's been misled. He could not have witnessed such a thing. Why not? Because it did not happen. He was told. Told? Who made these claims to your father? Oh. I am the princess. To, to question my virtue is an act of treason. I do not know specifically. But your father did not tell you. He reported it to the king. I overheard. So you are accusing me of slanders? You overheard? I only want to help you, Rhaenyra. Dang, she flipped that on his head, didn't she? Mm -hmm. We drank in a tavern. Several taverns. They went bar hopping. <laughs> it was getting late, and I asked to go home. But Damon wished to continue. As he was my escort, I had no real choice. Continue? In a brothel? He took me to a show. I, I was only a spectator. I didn't do anything. And then Damon sank into his cups and... Uh, Abandoned me for some f should have known better. She sounded so disappointed, didn't she? Mm -hmm. So you did not must I truly refute that? Well, I mean, yeah, kinda. But she's so guilty because she did something they else, you know? That's never like... touched me. Oh, but he did touch I you. I swear this to you upon the memory of my mother. It was foolish of you to place yourself in a position where your virtue could even come into question. Thank you, stepmother. The king has strived to find you a good match, and so have I. If that lord were to think that you were being sullied, it would ruin everything. I know. Your grace, I regret it. Uh-oh. The king him. demands an audience, my friend. <sighs> Take your f***ing hands off me. Is this going to be the first time they're actually like truly brutal to each other? Because they've been playing this weird, mm -hmm. this weird game this whole show. Oh no. Please don't have a moment where they just behead him. Right. No questions asked. Uh oh. He's wearing black. My daughter. Uh, won't you even uh. deny it? I need to understand the charge before I can attempt to discredit it. He's such a smart <laughs> ass. Oh! <laughs> Still you say nothing. What does it matter, brother? We were young men. She is just a girl. Okay, Robert Brown. Your niece. Here is a woman grown. Better her first experience would be with me than some <laughs> Why is he doing that? <laughs> you have ruined her. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Babe, the reason he's doing it, I think, is because I think he's, in his mind, I think he was contemplating, do I ruin her? Right. Do I take her off the board as a rightful suitor? As to a strengthen princess, him? To strengthen me, because then maybe he could kill the child. Oh. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If he would have slept with her, he could have totally ruined her opportunity. I'm sorry, but that But he didn't do it. He so didn't what do was that? it. What was he that? abandoned her for some H-O-W-R-E that they take my money for saying. So... Maybe that was his way of saying, I just can't do it because he really does have something for her. Mm -hmm. It's weird, man. It's weird. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Who gives a f what some lord thinks? You are the dragon. Your word is truth and law. I have spent a lifetime defending you, but your heart is even blacker than I thought. I should disinherit her, but they already did you. Be done with it. Wed her to me. You're married. When I offered up my crown, you said I could have anything. I want Rhaenyra. I take her as she is and wed her in the tradition of our house. You are already wed. That didn't stop Egg on the Conqueror from taking a second wife. You are no conqueror. You are a plague. Sent to destroy me. Give me Rhaenyra to take to wife, and we will return the house of the dragon to its proper glory. Of course. It's not my daughter you lust for, is it? It's my throne. Well, there you go. He could also do it that way. Go back right. to the veil, Damon. To your lawful wife. Strive to restore whatever 
scrap of honor remains in you. Or don't. Matters not to me. Damn. As long as you are gone from my side for good. Abandon. Exile. He better do something about Damon or it's gonna come around to bite him. He's being too nice to him. As you wish, brother. As you wish, brother, and then rolls over. And what's interesting is he made him think that they actually did it, even though they didn't. He wanted him to think. Well, mate, what if he really wants to wed Rainier to do that? So he was like winning both ways. Like that was very calculated by him. But maybe he didn't think it was gonna get That's out. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's true intentions and what they really want could also align with power, and mm -hmm. it all seems to add up that way. It's very weird. This dang picture. Have you spoken <laughs> to her? What the heck? You want to order one for the bedroom? Heck no. no. <laughs> It is not in Rhaenyra's nature to be deceitful. I cannot say the same for your brother. You believe he lied? How often does he speak the pure truth? How does confessing to such things serve him? By reducing you. Oh, and it's his character too. Oh, shoot. The triple kill. Whatever transpired, Rhaenyra is not innocent. Only because Daemon tried to corrupt her. Daemon and Rhaenyra share the blood of the dragon. They are restless and chaotic. She swore to me that she remains a maiden. And I believe her. Aww. But she's lying. That's why I'm like, oh, that's really great. But she still lied, though. Yeah, she went out and burnt the town down that night. <laughs> Do you think he's fearful of his life, too? He thinks everything's about him. <laughs> yeah, he probably regrets that bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why is the knife in the fire? That dagger once belonged to Egon the Conqueror. It was Aenar's before that. And before that, well, it is difficult to know. Before Egon's death, the last of the Valyrian pyromancers hid his song in the steel. From my blood come the prince that was promised. Whoa. Or princess. Right. And his will be the song of ice and fire. Whoa. I said that Responsibility. on that thing? I have handed to you the burden of this knowledge. It is larger than the throne. The king. It is larger than you. And your desires. Jaehaerys would have disinherited you. For a lie, you've yet to ask me for the truth of what happened. The truth does not matter, Rhaenyra. Only perception. You have exposed yourself. Now we must both suffer the consequence. Were I born a man, I could bear two men for I wanted. I could father a dozen bastards, and no one in your court would blink an eye. You're right. But you were born a woman. So you will strip me of my titles and name Egon in my stead. I would. But it is mine to hold the realm together, not sow it with further division. Your courtship is at an end. You will wed Sir Lenor Valarian, and you will do so without protest. The son of the sea snake. So I can be a remedy for your political headaches. You are my political headache. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much time he spends working on that, though. Your wedding to Selena Valarian will unite the two most powerful houses in the realm. With the combined strength of our shared dragons and naval fleet, no one would dare to stand against us. The House of the Dragon will stand as one for a further generation. And what will you do about the vulture who perches upon your throne? What vulture? Your hands. Otto Hightower has served two kings loyally and faithfully. He wants Aegon to be named heir. And he will stop at nothing to see it done. Including spying on me to bring about my ruin. Because that's his family, Aegon. You speak yeah. of the Conqueror's vision and the need for strength and unity across the realm. But how can that be accomplished with your most trusted advisor so self-interested? Every lord and lady that calls for an audience with me. Every man on my small council and all council's past has been self-interested. It is unavoidable. I disagree. I will do my duty as heir and with Sir Lainor. But you must first do yours as king. What did that mean? Right. Your grace. Oh, behead his ass. No. Five oh. days. All he did was tell the truth. I'm sorry, Your Grace. Though it was some time ago, the details, they fade in memory. My father was a hale and healthy warrior and dragon rider at the peak of his abilities. 
Jaehaerys named a great royal hunt to celebrate him being named the Hand of the King. Five days later, my father lay dead. Tourneys last longer. Balon the Brave, rider of Vagar, heir to the Iron Throne, dead of a burst belly. Burst belly? The gods have a dark wit. It was a grim day. I recall it all too well. Maybe Burst Belly's poisoners. It was a good day for you. Harris named you Hand in Balon's stead. Oh, so he thinks it was calculated. That's hardly how I viewed it, Your Grace. Mm. It was a duty. You served my grandson nobly in his final days. You are the man that taught me how to be king. Well, you honor me, Your Grace. Just five days. You went from being another man in Jairus court to the second most powerful man in the realm. I wonder, how long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? Your grace. I will never recover from Emma's death. But Alicent, she took me through the worst of my grief. She was a calculated distraction. Ooh. I only now realize how well calculated it was. That is an absurdity. The Queen loves you, as I know you love her. Your interests no longer align with those of the realm. Bro, this is Your her judgment has been compromised. A loyal hand must tell his king a discomforting truth from time to time, Your Grace. If he doesn't, he's failed as a servant. You were a faithful servant, Otto. It's Viserys, though. You knew that wasn't going to happen. In the realm. Both of you are dead. That can never be repaid. But I can no longer trust your judgment. Oh, the demotion. So he did that just because he spied on his daughter? Yeah, and I think he also was saying, like, how, how like, calculated it was to have Allison, the death of that hand before him. Well, maybe he's just stepping up. Like, if you're the king, you don't want everyone working against your interests. Maybe he thought maybe that's Come. in your best interest. Right, but I can see how he thinks that it's to belittle him because anything that makes her narrow look weak makes him look weak. I the late hour, princess. I took great care in its preparation. If not brewed properly, it can either prove ineffective or else bear unpleasant. Brewed properly? I'm sorry, what is that? A tea, princess, from the king. It will rid you of any unwanted consequences. Oh, so that's like some plan, plan B. B. Yeah. yeah. Some Westerosi plan B. So he basically said, I don't believe you. Jeez, man. That man did not push you off. <laughs> you got <to> like. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was good as hell. Jeez. Basically, man, I'm really liking this show. I, I really am. I'm pretty. Yeah, let's take these out. You know, I'm pretty bummed that we're not, you know, that we're past Game of Thrones. I was really wondering if it's going to be possible for me to like this more than Game of Thrones because the consensus out there is that this show is extremely good, but I think people prefer Thrones. But mm -hmm. the pol the politics of this, man, the consequences, I'm really into that because I think this show is doing such an amazing job of capturing what, in my opinion, was the best part of Game of Thrones, which was the dialogue, the long the deceit. stoic looks into <laughs> each other's eyes. I think this character, Otto, I don't know why, man. I just really like this guy a lot. I think it's because he's so well written. Right. Every Everything that happens to be in the best interest of the realm happens to be in his best interest also. Right. And everything was just too good to be true for him, and it ended up costing him. So right. it was almost like it's almost like he just didn't see that coming. I, I don't know. Maybe it was just a lack of awareness or something, but mm -hmm. it's really hard to think that he shouldn't have sent the spies. I don't know if that's like a good thing because I'm not really in favor of like spying on people as a general rule. Right. So I feel like that's always bad. But at the same time, it's like. But you have to have birds out there. You do. Yeah, you really we, do. I mean, we do. We have those three lettered agencies, the CIA, FBI, all those things. Those are our birds. Right. But I feel like in this world, you do have to have birds because um, it's proven that they're they're helpful, I guess. <laughs> like you find out things through them for sure. Yeah. Facts. All right, man. So we started out. The king basically wanted to get an heir popping up in here, right? We said we need to wed families. We need to do it strategically and politically. She wasn't feeling anybody because, I mean, it was basically, it showed us an old man, a young boy, yeah. and then a, a man who was of proper age, but he was a goof, right? He yeah. He was a loud mouth, obnoxious. It was person, just no so. one that Rhaenyra would really choose. It would just be 100% for like something, an advantage. <laughs> yeah, 100%. An advantage of some sort. 
Right. And then she basically chooses no one and Goes, comes home two months early and, right. and shows up where Damon's given his crown. He's serving. He's showing his loyalty to his brother, which is strange to me, like my opinion, because Damon doesn't seem like that kind of guy to me at all. So it was weird to me that he does that after his he denied his help with the ships and he comes and just bends the knee quickly. It's like he came home just to troll his brother. He yeah. was like upset with him. So he sits there and he he almost gives him this false sense of, you know what? I've won this. I've won this fight. My life was on the line. It was the it was the bloodiest battle I've ever seen. And I have a new perspective on my relationship that I want to have with my siblings moving forward. I need to be a better brother. I need to be a better servant of the realm. You are the true king, the mm -hmm. only king. Right. Now I'm going to go try to screw your daughter in a brothel <laughs> because I'm just like that. So right. Damon's but wild, it was man. weird. It was weird because I can't tell. I, you know, I was always brought up with this like phrase called perceptions reality. Like right. that was like what everyone always told me growing up. So the thing is, I can't tell what the optics are with Damon because it seemed like he wanted to do it, but it also seems like he didn't want to do it. And I don't know if he only did it just for someone to go tell somebody. Damon could be the type of character. Same thing, man, with Otto. Everything that happens to be the best interest yeah. of the realm, because in his mind, he sees his brother as, as a weak. king. Well, not just as weak. I think he sees his brother as a king. Who at a certain time in history, his his leadership style was effective, but war is upon us and he refuses to see it. So he's basically reached his expiration date. And I think that's his perception. And I think that Damon is someone who's obviously a man of war, as we've seen against the Crab King or whatever that man's name was. Right. I think also along with what you're saying is Damon sees Viserys as someone who like doesn't ride dragons. And I think that someone in his Targaryen, mind that, that yeah, that yeah, doesn't sit right. A Targaryen who doesn't ride dragons. I feel like Damon's feeling he needs to take it upon himself to strengthen the Targaryens back because someone who's ruling doesn't ride dragons. That's why he was like, wed me to Rhaenyra. But that's still if so I can restore. Yeah, that's still iffy, though. So in his mind, you know, he's someone who comes from a position of unwavering strength and brutality. So in his mind, he sees it as a disservice to the realm to have such a powerful, such a powerful family lead in this realm. And he sees it as something that is less than its proper glory right so in his mind he's doing what's best for the realm which also happens to line up with his best self interest. right i feel like damon's a make targaryens great again kind of guy right so and then, i don't know what uh, really and then um uh alessant same thing she doesn't want to do this you know she obviously is very unhappy she's getting very lonely and she's questioning and she's becoming just nihilistic basically mm -hmm. and you know but she's doing it Basically the same thing that helps her because it puts her in a position where she's the queen. You know? Right, but at the same time with Allison's character, I don't necessarily see Allison. I see Otto pushing her son more than she does. I see her defending Rhaenyra. I see her actually being a friend to Rhaenyra, which is right. weird to me because Otto and her don't seem to be on the same page in that regard. But from Otto's perception or from Otto's perspective, none of that matters because there's a fact that happens to be that there's no escaping and it's if a girl's in charge, there's going to be a civil war. Right. And, and he, he's just doing, he's just predicting what's going to happen because he knows. He well, he just understands. Like, he just, at this point, he's been around for so long. He just has a great understanding and, of human and nature. And that he play was the go. perfect example of what you're saying. Because mm -hmm. that play, the optics of the play were they don't want a woman. They would choose Aegon. I just thought it was really interesting how in the beginning of this episode, we were mending relationships. Uh, brothers were becoming brothers again. Best friends were relating to each other mm -hmm. and then by the end of it all that got basically flipped on the right. head so that was pretty wild mm -hmm. i love that theme yeah a lot of really long stares at damon and rhaenyra i could see it coming basically man i could smell that one coming um yeah it's kind of weird because he seems so much older than her and it's kind of like he's grooming her in a way but it's whatever she's of age i guess so that's what Targaryen. but you know do. you know what's weird though that i'm thinking about okay so i'm not really fond of the idea that you know, Damon and Rhaenyra. But all I'm seeing is when it's outsiders, like for example, Otto, it just seems like it's deceitful when the, when you're bringing the outsiders in because I feel like they're, they're I don't know, there's been so much peace in Targaryen rule and I feel like they're marrying Targaryens be, like because of that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, Viserys' wife looked like she was Targaryen. She had blonde hair. And, right. So I don't know, like. Well, this is something about Otto that intrigues me. He wears the Citadel. He's got the Maester coins. He's a man of knowledge. He's read up. He's obviously He obviously understands that good times breeds weak men. Weak men breed tough times. Tough times breed 
strong men, strong men breed good times, breed weak men. It's a cycle that never ends. Mm. And right now they're just in peacetime. So that's the whole theme is war is coming, bad times are coming. And I think Otto is someone who understands that. I think he understands that. And, you know, I think that's the biggest flaw of the king is he's just so peaceful. So Right, but I also think the reason why he hasn't chose Aegon immediately too is that, you know, he had Emma, him and Emma had Rhaenyra. And they're like, obviously, Rhaenyra looks very Targaryen, right? So mm-hmm. whatever. So I feel like that that bloodline and not being a high tower bloodline mixed in it is the reason why he's hanging on so hard to her because they said that they said in that little knife that they have to be the person on the throne. So you have to keep passing it down. And I feel like it could end up not being fully Targaryen. I don't know. Maybe yeah, it has nothing to do with that. Yeah, because he her with all that information. Yeah, maybe it has nothing to do with that. But. And it could it could be a lot of that, which would also just be like strategic in a sense, like political. But it could also be what if what if he genuinely like wants it for his daughter? What if he has this this really unique guilt because he admitted that the reason he murdered his wife, essentially he he was going to keep having children with her until because he felt like this prophecy was so important. So he felt like He's just battling with himself right. because he's, he's it ended battling up his killing faith. Her, yes. He's battling his own emotions, his own moral obligations to his daughter because he loves his daughter. He said, I, you know, really, all that I really care about is to see her happy. Yeah. And that's something that's very unique. In this so he's world, actually you know? a good parent in a way. He's actually a, a, a mindful dad. I don't think I think in his mind, he thinks that it would be great if his daughter could rule. I don't think right. he has an issue with it, but he's someone who just wants to make everyone happy. And he, he made the comment that. My whole life is a curse where I make one person happy by pissing another person right. off. Right. And he, at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, he really loved his wife and he he's very lonely now and he's very paranoid. And I think his daughter's the only person left that he really can trust. And I think that's why he put so much faith in Damon because mm-hmm. that's also family, mm-hmm. close family, and he's just missing that. And he keeps giving him chance after chance. And he seems very mm-hmm. guilty about his wife. Yeah. Because he knows he was wrong for that. Right. So it was just like he saw a prophecy and misread it by, uh, you know, bringing that son. Right. That was insane. That's insane to look at it like that. And then uh, my boy, Uncle D, uh, (laughs) he decided he was going to drop some clothes off for young (laughs) Rhaenyra, dress her up like Peter Pan. She escaped out the back hatch. Turns out there was a whole back cave down there. She escaped into the into the dark night. and No one recognized her because they don't have TV in this world. And to a brothel they went. Baby, what happened? (laughs) Oh god! And then they like went to second base, actually. And then, you know, Might have been more than that. I don't really know. It's kind of dark in there. Yeah, a little bird saw, of course, and reports immediately to Otto. Which I you, maybe comment below. I don't know if that girl, the girl with that white dress that speaks like Shay, I don't know if she's tied in with that because that kid gave her money. So I don't know if her and Otto are like tied. Right, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, like so I don't know because. You know, she spends a lot of time with Damon, which is also would be helpful for Otto. But it makes me wonder if she's sitting there conspiring against Damon in that sense. Why is that little boy delivering that scroll right in front of him? Is Ex- he so arrogant? And is he so he speaks to her with such impunity? He right. calls her the most a awful. common. <laughs> right. Yeah. So obviously he just thinks that she's really dense and dumb and maybe and maybe she thinks that about him too by allowing right. that and maybe it yes yeah, maybe that's showing she's smarter than we think or something or right. more calculated or more sneaky i just thought that part was weird even if you don't have respect for damon if you think he's drunk and constantly mentally in the brothels man i still don't think you would do that in front of him but yeah that's very interesting so she could be conspiring against him he really needs to watch her because she's been looking at him with discontent for a right. while. Especially, it seems like she's going to be really resentful at some point. Well, she made the point that you're sitting there putting yourself out there because you have basically Targaryen privilege. But me, on the other hand, like I don't get I don't get to play those games. Right, like, and she said that at least twice. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I thought it was really sad when Otto had to deliver the news to the king. He obviously didn't want to tell the king that, or maybe he did. Like I said, he's impossible to read. Mm-hmm. Time's going to tell with him. Right. You know what I mean? Time We're going to definitely tell. find out what, what goes, what's happening with Otto, hopefully this season. <laughs> right. He doesn't seem like a man of dishonor. He doesn't seem like a terrible guy, you know. But, you know, when people serve in a political thing for so long, at some point, I feel like they're gaining something at some point. I don't know, because it seems like for years he's been hand for years he's been hand over two different kings i mean even if your job is the secret service and you protect the president 
deep down, it, you still think it's cool that you do that. You still go and brag about your, but yeah, I got to go protect the president. You know what I'm saying? You get something out of it, even if it's just status or if it's your own personal ego, you know what I'm saying? Like you get, everyone gets something out of everything they do. That's why we do it. So, right. Um, but not everyone sends their young and into the King's chambers. Well, but the thing is, I, I hate to, I hate to be like, yeah, that's so, but man, he's handed the King though. Like he's in there. There's only so many characters. Oh, the problem is there's only so many options. And so if it you was think either about her it, or he had to go with that 12 year. Oh, and boy. he almost has a moral obligation to ask his daughter to step in before that 12 year old has to do it. Mm. Because that is just really weird to me, man. Like she's only 12 years old. And then obviously uh, a big conversation goes down. Old friends become heated rivals because apparently questioning the queens or the princess's virtue is punishable by treason, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Um, but it, Allison in that moment was being very stepmomish or like very maternal. And so to say, she was like basically saying like, you need to tell me this is like, this could really ruin you. Like she basically was lecturing her. She was lecturing her. She was playing stepmom a little bit. I think a lot of it is, well, you know how she's like, they're jealous of each other. You know how they're yeah. both jealous of each other in a sense. Well, the problem with Allison is I feel like she thinks in Allison's mind, she's, she's held down the castle for so long. She's taken on all this burden. She's taken on all this responsibility. You know, she isolates herself in the top of this castle basically essentially just having heirs yeah and she feels like dude if i can do it damn it you can do it and right. if you're gonna break your vows to do it with your your uncle of all people i think she's just really disappointed because she's just making so much sacrifice and she sees renera as not really step and up they're to the besties plate. so she expects kind of more out of her and yeah. maybe she feels like if she would step up to the plate more she could relieve the burden and maybe she could like grow up and take her her positions and her i guess her duty. Her duty is more serious than maybe they could bond their friendship and be adults about it. But mm -hmm. it seems like they're not really able to do that because they both seem so emotional. You, right. Do you know what I mean? And Rhaenyra is kind of rocking her own beat, whereas Allison's doing her duty full heartedly, I feel. Right. Then the king beats the crap out of Damon. Damon sits there the whole time and just basically lets the king have the narrative. You know what? I did I did the whole thing, whatever you want to say. We golfed 18 holes, whatever. <laughs> However you want to try to phrase it, man. We did all of it. Let the imagination roll. That's what we did. And gets exiled. I want to marry it. I want to marry her. So um that was just weird to me. I don't I don't know what his advantage is. Like I said, if he if he marries her, he becomes king. Uh if he doesn't, if he destroys her dignity. Yeah, but you, you know, know what was weird in that moment? He brought up Aegon taking two wives. So to me, I feel like Damon thinks and I'm not saying he's had prophecies because he probably hasn't, but maybe he also is thinking he's like a second Aegon or some crap like that, where he needs to have like these two wives. He needs to defeat someone like a crab. Well, Damon just seems like someone who constantly wants to push the limit. So if Aegon had two wives, he wants three. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying like he wants to put he wants to put one foot on one dragon and one foot on another dragon and ride them both like skis. <laughs> Uh, he'll probably be the first one to ride a dragon like a skateboard. <laughs> and then obviously Legolas. <laughs> the king brings Rhaenyra down, shows her the dagger, uh, the same dagger that Arya used to kill the Night King, it mm -hmm. looks like. And inscripted on the side of the Valerian steel, it basically says the little prophecy about the Az Azor I Azor High. Right. <laughs> that thing. So it's interesting because you notice the king keeps it on him at all times. So obviously it's so important to him. I guess the reason they it passes down and no one ever loses it is because it's such an important piece of like what this whole thing is about. Right, and he called it in this scene right here a burden. He said it's a burden for to know this knowledge. Yes, yeah, yeah. burden for the knowledge so, because it's a life of. You know, if you're a king, you there's two. Yeah, you're right, babe. It's all it's a it's a burden. Well, that's, could, that's what he said. Yeah, because. You could be like Robert. Robert didn't know that because he's not he's not Targaryen. He was right. a Baratheon. So Robert the Baratheon was sitting on the throne, but the universe didn't really have a purpose for him on that throne. Right. So he sat on an empty throne. And then the long night came because he, he took the Targaryens off of it. When he sat on the throne, what happened? He became extremely depressed and unhappy, right. which was sort of they didn't really say that. But when you drink yourself to death and, you know, eat yourself to death and stuff. It's probably because the only thing that really matters to you is like self-indulgence. And that and that was Robert's character, someone who didn't really think of anything outside of himself. It was all about self-indulgence. So maybe 
he he it was almost like the throne rejected him and he rejected the throne subconsciously because he's not targaryen right so that's why and that's what makes this so interesting is it seems like after this episode in particular it seems that targaryens are very essential to westeros <laughs> or right. planetos actually and then i thought the saddest thing man the king <sighs> called in Otto and basically was like you know what deaths happened recently it just so happens that you went from what did he call him? Someone just on the court, like a court ward or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, another man days. on Jay Harris's court. There you go, right there. Yeah. And uh, and in five days, you became the second most powerful man in the kingdom. So, like I said, maybe that's just coincidence. Maybe that's divine intervention. Maybe that's maybe we should have voted for you on DraftKings. Maybe maybe if you're smart enough to do that, then maybe you deserve to be the hand. Like you know, if you're just given the position, you didn't really earn it. You didn't really scheme your way to it. Then maybe you're not smart enough to have it in the first place. I don't know. You know what right. I'm saying? I really don't know. But definitely like his character a lot. It was just really sad to see him stripped of the hand. I don't really know that he deserved it. You guys, let me know in the comments because right. I'm kind of torn on that. At the same time, he's spying on the royal family behind his back. That's pretty treasonous, right? I you mean, know. but maybe it wasn't behind his back. Maybe it was just out there because, you know, maybe he's been spying on Damon, but maybe it just so happens that Rhaenyra gets in the mix. When the king brought it to his attention that I know you have little birds, he explained it to him. Well, actually, your grace, I must maintain birds in positions to blah, blah, blah. And so it made it seem as if the king didn't really know. It seemed right. like it was news to him, right. which I can see. Why. That That's insane. You let someone right next to you at the second highest position of power and they're setting up a whole spy agency behind your back. Yeah. It's not good. And then, and then once you get caught doing something like that, then every single possible narrative that can be placed against you is going to come full circle and it's going to work against you. So that's basically what's happening to this character. Yeah. And I'm here for it. I yeah. Love it. I it's great. great. It, it's interesting. I can't wait to see the dynamic, um, especially because that's Allison's father. So I don't know if she's going to be upset or if it's going to change things with their relationship. Can I say the sea snake, they mentioned uh, the sea snake has moved east and he's looking to establish an alliance, an alliance yeah. with the free cities, mm-hmm. which I don't know how much of the backstory of Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. I don't know how much of this has to do with the free cities and all that being against Westeros. I don't know how big of a conflict. I don't know if maybe just in this particular time they were worried about like intercontinental conflicts right like in a way that they really wasn't in the north maybe because west rose won that conflict you know i don't know it seemed like the cities in the east were a little behind yeah in a way i don't know but it seemed like viserys took that as um corliss being upset that he didn't marry his daughter he thinks that that's like four years ago but he's still mad about it so that's why he's forming alliance in the east well maybe he is upset well yeah but that's why at the end um he said you have to marry Lenor or Le- Le- is it Lenor or is that the girl? I'm not good enough with the names, baby. But I don't know. Anyways, he this the brother. So the son of Corliss. Uh, yeah, I don't know his name. Rhaenyra yet. has to marry him now to pretty much join their house. Basically, yeah, yeah. Well, she's back to you. Don't get to choose anymore, right. which sucks. She got the choice until she done messed up and went off. But you know that could have you know could have been calculated by Damon in that way too because Damon just fought side by side with them I don't know it's almost it's it's like everyone who's close to Viserys in a sense is he's like losing them like his I don't really know how to describe it he's losing everyone close to him basically so I can see how the lines are getting drawn um so we've been through the plot so I guess now it's more of just overall about the show so I really love the dynamics of yeah. the show, man. I really do. Viserys is probably my favorite character right now. I really like Viserys' character. Damon was up there. I liked him the most in the first episode, but then after game four, baby, I think he slid back down because <laughs> that business in the brothel was a little <laughs> off to me. Yeah. Had a weird stench to it, if you if you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, but I, I like his character a lot, man. That's just, you know. But I, I do like his character a lot. He's a complicated, very deep, character right and he I, adds to the show for sure damon's character oh, he adds to the show well i think the guy like in terms of an actor like this dude's insane he's awesome he's <laughs> he's such very, a good actor he's he just is very um every time he's on the screen he steals it so uh like he's an important character in the show 100 percent. the thing about hating characters almost like joffrey in game of thrones is man you hated joffrey but good lord game of thrones wouldn't have been game of thrones right. without joffrey definitely so. not I'm really liking this character just because he seems like a core character. He doesn't seem like he just seems like a core character to me. And I'm glad that we have one that is complicated to say the least. So 
really liking that part. I think the politics, the writing in this show is so well mm-hmm. put together so far. It's insane. Like I said, the thing that is impressing me about this show is how everyone has multiple narratives that could be true. They could not be true. Some could be true. Right. But they all sort of, in a sense, provide them... They line up with the realm and line up with their family. That's the coolest part to me. So it's like at the end of the day, something's going to have to give and someone's going to have to show their true colors of some sort. I like Lord Corliss. I like the sea snakes. I like the new house. I love, I love, love, love when he said that he's a second son. He has to fight for what's his. He was talking to Damon. That adds such an interesting, that adds so much depth that we got in Game of Thrones. There was characters like Sir Davos and stuff, but Sir Davos was such an obvious good guy. This mm-hmm. guy right here, he seems like not a bad guy, not a good guy, but a strong guy, a tough guy. So we'll see. Right. So when he's going to, with Essos, and I heard them even bring up the Bravos. I'm wondering if because I wish I could. City on Bravos. I wish I could go channel my um, lore thing and find out when Bravos was like founded, because then I could find out if they have the Iron Bank and stuff right now. So I can see like, does that, is that gonna help him like with money and stuff for war? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, don't get mad at us guys, We're, we'll, we'll learn all that. But let us know, man. Let us know about the timelines. If you guys wanna say, hey, this is where we are in the timeline. This is what existed. This what this is what didn't exist. You know, I'm sure we'll watch like stuff on it like that. And guys will tell us over the course of time, but we'll figure that stuff out. But that's why I think this show is so interesting because it really shows off how well put together this whole story was from start to finish. Yeah. Even though Game of Thrones started basically in the end of the timeline, mm-hmm. they put so much work in the beginning to make sure that everything lined up in the end. That yeah. It's just very impressive. And I'm glad that we're able to watch this with you guys for sure. Yeah, I think I think what really ties both um, series together is that knife that dagger it really ties but that one little dagger ties both series together very well i think and another thing guys is we were putting out a video on youtube today and something that i'm really appreciating about this show is it is so different because when it was game of thrones it was so cool daenerys because she was the last targaryen Mm -hmm. she wasn't really in the show but she essentially was the last abled body targaryen you know and it was just so cool to think in hindsight, how epic it was to watch her journey because now I have so much more of like a realistic view of like where she comes from, who she right. is, what her they didn't life tell her about like. saddles. You know what I'm saying? You they didn't I'm tell saying. her. They didn't tell her. They didn't even tell her how to say Dracarys right. You know, it's kind of cool that she didn't get like this this deep Targaryen training. I guess you can say. Right. And it's cool to see. I guess their customs because we didn't get to see the whole family. Seeing together. her journey is just making me appreciate the drama of what's going on right, right now right. a lot more because even though I, in a sense, sort of know how it ends, just the fact that Daenerys was able to rise up like she did, mm-hmm. you know, for good or for bad, man, and basically leave her imprint on the world. You know, she did a lot of good in a lot of ways until she didn't. So we definitely want to give her credit. You can't just discredit people for their worst actions in life. You got to give them credit for their best actions also. And she accomplished a lot and. It's just so interesting to see like where she comes from. Yeah. Like, it, because we heard this all these so names in the series, like Rhaegar and, and all and this stuff. We've seen, and so okay, cool like, we seen where she's from, uh Dragonstone, but we saw it to we see all the things in King's Landing also to their glory because we're seeing dragon heads everywhere. When Robert took them out because he hates the Targaryens. So in Game of Thrones, <laughs> we did not see that. So he went in and removed all those dragon heads. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're all in that. Down I noticed there, yeah. the dragon heads because I was thinking like those are really cool. He like defaced the Targaryens. He's, right. he's like yeah, bump y'all. Do. He's like put all these deers. Yeah. Super interesting episode. Uh, I don't really have any predictions or anything like that. I mean, I think obviously there's internal strife, but I don't really know what's going to happen, man. I mean, like I said, I'd basically be guessing at this point. Right. Guys, if you are out there and you just watch this and you have a like a genuine educated prediction of what's going to happen next, then more power to you, bro. Because I, f- I feel like that's the hardest thing is to try to predict what's about to happen next because right. I have no idea. I'm, I'm just having a blast with this show. It, it's making me like happy because, you know, I thought I was going to be really sad to not be in Westeros anymore, but it's cool to be back here, but in a different light. I thought it was going to feel like stumbling into a Kmart when you're used to Walmart, <laughs> yeah. but it really doesn't. It right. really it doesn't. It has a different feel to it. I mentally made my mind up that I'm not going to be... I'm not going to go into this with a dumb mindset of judging it again, like judging it against Game of Thrones. We did that in The Hobbit at the very first Hobbit. And when I stopped doing that, I actually was able to enjoy the series. To appreciate it for what it was, yeah. But that doesn't mean that I'm sitting here 
lying to myself. I'm, I genuinely think the politics of this show, I don't mean to say better, but it ain't worse. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's good. Game of Thrones had a, had a more wide scope of politics but right now this is very internal, internal. yes it's and that's the, what yeah. makes it good Cause, right because when you because you're able to explore the details a lot deeper than you right. were in game of thrones because you had so much to cover right you were only a little like if little finger like the little finger the little finger character could have been explored to depths deeper than that damn submarine went before it blew up guys and but they didn't do it because they didn't have time right and that was the biggest disappointment of game of thrones to me personally was little fingers the time, death the time, maybe because right. i feel like i just feel like man he was such a good well thought out character that he sort of went out weak in the end the writing right. i feel like his writing fell off a little bit right i mean yeah it's and th like you said it's really cool because you know at the beginning of game of thrones we knew the targaryens ruled for thousands of years we knew that whatever or whatever they said hundreds and it's cool to know that it wasn't easy. <laughs> it's right. cool to know there was strifes and they were there's battles between them own selves and crap like that. There was battles between their family members and because Otto's kind of a family member essentially. Yeah, he is. I mean he's the grandfather of At Aegon. this point he's family, so Yeah. You know, you D rank and Otto kind of made you look weak too. It's just one of those things. Right. Cause I, and I mean, maybe we, there's going to be drama on who he picks next. And so, I mean, I never even really thought about that it. That does speak a lot to the character of Viserys though. Otto came and told you something that was real. And like I said, I'm really confused. Let me know about the birds guys. Help me out with sometimes if I, if I'm not really sure, I will definitely look to you guys as educated opinions, but was he wrong for having those birds? Obviously I know spying on people is wrong and stuff, but given this climate and given how someone will literally just try to poison you and kill you and destroy your whole bloodline. Like in a sense, they seem like a necessary evil. So let me know, was he wrong? What are your opinions? Well, you guys are further along in the series, so obviously we'll get some, but so for you. <laughs> don't let me know if he was right to do it or not, but let me know if I was, if I'm in the right ballpark with my perception so far, don't spoil it for me, but let me know if I have the right to feel the way I feel. Cause I sort of felt like maybe he shouldn't have got rid of him. Maybe he should have explored it a little deeper and maybe he should have, if he had suspicions of Otto, you can have your suspicions of Otto, but maybe you should study him closer. Right, but opposed I, to just I think, getting rid of him. I think though he saw two strikes and he didn't want to get the third one. He saw the thing with his dad. Damn, so it's two strikes you out around here? Maybe because then it was his dad and then Allison. And maybe he just was saying that Aegon's not gonna be the third strike. Aegon's not the strike three, baby. I gotta get you out of here. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. So amazing episode, man. Uh if you're one of those people watching on Patreon and like all the sexual stuff makes you like, Ooh, thank you guys so much for watching. Anyways, I know this is like very graphic and stuff. And that's a lot of people's complaints about shows like this is they don't want to see all that nudity and stuff. Totally get that, man. Uh, but with that being said, that scene was crazy. <laughs> I, th I think Damon was in there a while and <laughs> start calling my man slanging Damon in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I think the show is going really hard. I think the politics are, we didn't even talk about Kristen Cole though. We forgot. Kristen Cole, oh, yeah. Kristen Cole literally just screwed his life up, basically, because I feel like at every corner, every time someone goes to talk to the king, he's going to be stressed out. <laughs> right. You know he's what I'm saying? He's going to be like, oh, my God, it's going to be about Sir me. Sir Kristen, you're losing a lot of weight. You're looking good, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm becoming okay. solely. Um, I don't know. It, man, it hit geez. for me. It hit for me badly because he what he said was my family. I'm you know how there's those people in life who are like. I'm the first in my family to graduate college. You know, there's those type of people. Well, Kristen Cole was like kind of that person. And he was like kind of doing something good for his family that apparently isn't that high up. I guess Dornish at that. I don't really know his backstory, but you know, that kind of sucks that he kind of just screwed himself up. For well, that. I, know, I mean, he's not caught yet, but I, I know it's bound to happen. And this ain't nothing against women, right? So don't get mad at me. But I'm just saying in this world, in this world, the king has rule, right? So this this is the problem with Viserys as such a an appeaser. He gave his daughter the opportunity to choose whoever she wanted. Mm -hmm. Why would you choose someone so young and someone that she could be like potentially attracted to? That's why you get like a man who's like an established older man. You know what I'm saying? Someone right. who's actually going to use his brain because that dude's essentially a teenager. Mm -hmm. And that's Viserys being naive. It's him being a weak king. It's him trying to be a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. And she chose that person. And I feel like that's something that you could have prevented. Now I understand that if she's of age, she has the right to do what she wants, but in this world, she does, she doesn't right. like there was oaths broken. So 
That's just another ones that are very costly on both right. accounts. Her her account because well, a lot of innocent people could die. Well, that took away her free person. will because she can't choose who she wants to marry now. Now it took it completely away from her for. But she doesn't. The thing is, they don't even know about Kristen Cole. They think it's Damon. So it's like a weird thing because something's got to give with Kristen Cole, right? Or but, someone's but, gonna find out something. But she's like, you know what I'm saying. If if she was to be examined, they would they would know. Right. So it's just one of those things, man. It's really complicated. And it's just one of those things. But Sarah should have done a better job there. He should have made that decision. But that's just his personality. Mm -hmm. And she's young. She didn't, you know what I'm saying? You expect her to make that choice. They even and said if we were, if the roles were switched, if that was like him doing that, it wouldn't even mean anything. But because she's, they need her and her like, you know, her, I don't want, how, how do I say this? Her cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> they need that right. to further like an alliance. Like they, yeah, she she would be, be she's less basically. valuable. Yeah, she's less valuable. Right. Okay, that's all I want to say about Chris. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So uh, I feel like he's definitely going to be stressed out, and you know, maybe. Oh, you know what I thought? Maybe the stress will make him a weaker Kingsguard or something, and that would really suck. I don't know. Or maybe, or maybe he'll have personal ties or something. You know, maybe if she, if if he's that into her, maybe he could. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if you can renounce your duty. I don't know if she can allow him to renounce his yeah, duty. Yeah, can he like retire and be like, uh, you know what? I'm going to give up my duty because I actually have a romantic interest in the princess. And, and what like, What if, but what I'm saying is, what if that romantic interest costs Hey, but he's from Dorn. He's them. from Dorn. Yeah. Right. Okay. We said that already. <laughs> well, I know, but that's political. Yeah, but I really, it really just hit me about those political ramifications. Yeah, so like, I haven't it really, really processed affect, that. Exactly. Yes. And like, that, that could, could really history. screw him up to hit the Dornish people up. That could right. be another reason to go to war. Because or something. all of a sudden they're tied to them. I, yeah, it's, it's complicated, but. Um, yeah, because they have to behead him for sleeping with the. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could just go really bad, really fast. Well, I know one thing's for dang sure. We are going to be back with episode five and six, baby. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Seriously, this was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So we'll be back with episode five and six. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full, uncut, nasty brothel fill reactions, baby. <laughs> we got it all over there. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.